So in March 2017, the LAPD confirmed that they were investigating Danny Masterson for alleged sexual assaults. Three female accusers came forward. We all reported about it at the time, but it sort of felt like it just went away. But once Me Too happened uh, in October, that December, Netflix, because of a lot of pressure, launched an investigation and he was eventually written off his hit show at the ranch with ashton kutcher which was really the biggest thing he'd done since that 70s show this first went to trial last year we first heard from the women who we aren't naming they're all jane doe one jane doe two jane doe three and their stories were pretty horrific they detailed in graphic detail um violent alleged sexual assaults all that took place at his home in the Hollywood Hills. In November, a mistrial was declared because the jury was deadlocked. The prosecution vowed to retry the case, and they did. That happened this past spring, and there were two big differences this time around. They really honed in on the fact that Masterson allegedly drugged the women before assaulting them. In the first trial, the judge would not allow the term drugging. Scientology was also mentioned a lot more the second time around because a judge ruled that further evidence related to the church could be heard at the retrial. She's one of the church's most famous members, you know, aside from Tom Cruise, and all three women are ex-Scientologists. The Church of Scientology has denied having any policy that forbids their members from going to police, like some of these women have claimed. But they all claim they've been harassed by the church ever since coming forward. And clearly the new strategies worked. In May, a jury found Masterson guilty of two of the three counts of rape and this week he will be sentenced he faces up to 30 years i anticipate we will hear from the women again i believe they'll be allowed to give victim impact statements one thing to note during both trials is danny never took the stand in his own defense no witnesses were called so it's going to be really interesting to see who's going to try to make the case for leniency will he asked his famous friends like Ashton Kutcher for leniency. I don't know. That to me is one of the biggest question marks that will be interesting to see this week.